We're getting ready to unbox a new Gemini ES12 BLU 12 inch loudspeakers, powered speaker. So we're going to try these later today at a concert, uh, it's a Dulcimer Society concert, but these should be perfect for that because they don't really require a whole lot of extreme bottom end. And so let's unbox it. Okay, you've got your standard size SD card slot. Okay, and you've got your mode control, your play pause button, your loop button, your reverse and advance. And you've got your USB memory stick input for also playing MP3s. And you have your LED display to tell you what is happening for like MP3 number and such. And you have your mic level volume input. It also runs the quarter inch line input from a guitar and then you have the line in quarter inch jack then you have the mic XLR input and you have the second line level volume control you have the eighth inch headphone jack input you have the RCA jack inputs then you have the XLR li line level input for coming from another speaker or a mixer. You then have your mix level out, which is a line level for going to another speaker. You have your high EQ setting, then your low EQ setting. You have your power indicator LED, and you have your clip indicator LED which is telling you if you've input if you've overloaded the input or overloaded the output then you have your mp3 volume control and it also runs the radio receiver as well and on the bottom of the unit you have your standard post mount for mounting it with a screw tight clamp and this is an idea of what four of them look like in a concert situation set up Okay, this is the back of the connection, and I was using a mic input at the time with a line out to the next unit. And this is what the secondary unit looks like with the line in. And this is the way you would need to connect it, a, a multiple ones up chain together. Okay, so we're going to test out a few of the features that this, this system has. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn down the MP3 volume. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn down all the volume there. And we'll take an SD card and put it in there. And I get it in right. Okay. And it immediately starts playing. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Okay, we're going to go with the Bluetooth now. As you can see it there. It's Gemini. Okay, and you see it's connected. So close that. I'll go into music here. So let's bring up one of the, the ones I've got here. And then. So that's playing from my phone. So we'll see how far out I can get before it stops. Okay, so. 
It's coming from my phone. We'll walk out here. See how far it'll go. This is a Bluetooth, remember. <laughs> yeah, we're about at the edge of the room here. And uh, that's the edge of the room. So if you can see it, we're still connected. <laughs> that's about 100 feet away. Okay, we're back here behind it again and we're still in Bluetooth mode but I want to put it into radio mode one thing I've noticed however it only the remote only works from the front there's a little sensor right above the subwoofer in this thing you can actually see it in this I'll show you here in a second And real quick on the front of this, that is the IR receiver for the remote. The conditional offer of peace talks, they've insisted they will only negotiate with Washington. Okay, a couple other things to note. When you're hooking stuff up to this, you get a mic input and a line input. Microphone, line. So you have to remember, if you're hooking up, chaining two of these together, or three or four. So input from a mixer will go to line. Input from a, a particular microphone, like an SM58, would go into mic. The output to the next speaker goes from mix out to line in. That is critical. If you use mix out to mic in, the volume is just unreasonably loud. And you won't get a balance. Also, much like the SD card, if you hook a USB stick into this port here, it will also be able to play MP3s. And it does it quite well. So if you're wanting something for a quick party, you can throw everything on a USB stick or, or an SD card, throw it in this thing, hit that up and go. Or if you just wanted a local radio station, you could do that or Bluetooth from a phone or an iPad or such. Okay, a couple final thoughts. One, I actually like these speakers. They sound good within the limits of what they can be used for. Uh, I did actually have one have a minor issue, but it was fixable. Uh, one thing I do not like is the short power cord that comes with these. If they are going to be on a stand, you will need to purchase a longer cord. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. It would allow me to continue doing these, and that's become more critical lately. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.